focus stacking is a great technique to get super sharp close-ups, as we've demonstrated in previous videos using just an iPhone. But did you know that focus stacking is also just as useful with landscapes? This is particularly true if the scene has too much depth, such as when objects are located too close to the camera, which would be out of focus with a single shot. To demonstrate, let's take a photo of such a scene which has too much depth. As you can see, a variety of objects are located near and far from the camera. Looking closely, you can see that even with the iPhone's small sensor, not all the elements are perfectly sharp. As such, let's use the focus stacking technique to help fix the problem. To do that, the first step is to take the focus brackets. As always, I'll be using our partner app, Aura HDR8 Camera. I'll leave a link in the description. From the shooting menu, I'll select the Auto Focus Bracketing Mode. I'll adjust the shooting settings by tapping the Context button. I'll accept 20 as the currently set number of brackets, although 10 will also be more than adequate for most scenes. Since we are shooting a landscape, not a close-up, I'll increase the focus increment to 4. We don't need such fine increments for landscapes. Next, I'll select the initial focus point, which is the point closest to the camera that has to be in focus. I'll tap the shutter. Aura HDR will take 20 brackets shot at gradually increasing focus points and save it into the iPhone's photo library. Next, I'll transfer the brackets to my PC. Before we do the merging, let's take a look at the brackets. Here is the first bracket. As you can see, the closest element is in focus while the rest out of focus. Notice that as I move to subsequent brackets, how the focused area moves from near to far. At the eighth bracket, you can see now that the farther outlying rocks are in focus while the rest of the elements are out of focus. Moving past the eighth bracket, you can see that nothing is in focus, which means that only the first eight brackets are all that we need to cover the entire image. No matter, the rest will merely be discarded by the focus stacking app and will not affect the final merge. Next, let's begin focus merging with Affinity Photo. I'll click File, New Focus Merge, I'll select the images. Here is the single bracket, here is the focus merged bracket. As you can see, a big difference. Even with just an iPhone, the focus merged bracket is clearly sharper from front to back making the single bracket look soft by comparison. So hopefully you now have a better idea when to use focus bracketing for shooting landscapes and how to go about doing it. Do consider to help out our channel by getting our HDR camera in the iOS App Store, the best app for computational photography, and make sure to like and subscribe to help keep the videos coming. I'll see you on the next video.